morning, Justin from Brickwright here again. So, we're off the job, the big landscaping job in Cardiff, and we're on another job now in Church Village, and we've taken on a smaller job just to keep our sanity bladder, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So, here we are. It's Indian sandstone, and it's the, uh, the ribbon effect. Now, I think a lot of the boys with this ribbon effect now, they're moving on to porcelain, like we obviously we do porcelain or granite or slate. But for me, I mean, I'm not saying I prefer this over anything else because I'm, if I'm laying porcelain, I love that. If I'm laying granite, I, I like that. Same with slate. Same with this. A lot, I think this might be forgotten about within the next few years. And it's a shame because it's a lovely product. I mean, look, if you look at that slab there, Brad, look at the yeah. colour on that. I mean, when it's wet, it's a completely different colour again. But there's so it's a natural product. So you're getting, you know, you're getting you know, the, the nice colours on it and the different sizes and the different shapes and the joints are not exactly equal on all of them because it's a natural stone. And, you know, whereas porcelain, you get in everything bang on the money and it's precise, whereas this stuff has got a little bit of um, imperfections, which I think makes the product, Brad, don't you? Like, you know, well, it just makes you think it's natural stone, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people are sticking their nose up about this now, but... Um, I think as long as you seal it and you put it down and you seal it, then uh, I think it's a really, really nice product and uh, something that shouldn't be forgotten about because it, it's really nice. And you can lay them, you can purchase them in those sizes if you want to just lay those sizes. Or I think you can buy them in these sizes and, and all the sizes bar this one. So if you just wanted the one size, you can lay one size. So key elements of this then, so we glittered on them enough about that. So what we did, we haven't shown you this from the start, so apologies, we came in. The ground was like that. So what we've done, I don't know if I can show you, by right here, that's a, that's a concrete block wall here. You see that there, Brad? Yeah, it is in. So we've got a concrete wall all the way down the perimeter, across the front, and we've got a concrete block wall in, in concrete foundations, concrete block, block on flat, all the way around there. So what that's enabled us to do is we've done that. So we've filled everything up now with this MT Type 1, or scalpins as we call it in Wales. So we filled that up. And we've put around about what six, six, seven, ten. Yeah, about about six, I think. Yeah, so we filled that up, whacked it in four-inch intervals, hundred mil intervals with a whacker plate, until we've got to this level. And then um, what we're doing is the same as porcelain. We've got a, a nice mix of rather than your sharp sand and cement, um, four and one mix. And what we've done, client wanted the the, the paving to be level, the DPC because they wanted to walk out and they didn't want to step down. So we put eco drains in there um, to protect the DPC, even though the water is going is going that way. So what we'll do is we'll show you now how to lay one. Um, I'll lay that one over there, Brad, okay, if you want to film me doing that one. Yeah. If you want to move over there. So here we go then. We've got a base in. We've whacked the base. We've got our sand cement. Don't lay these on spots. There's a lot of people, what I mean by that is, a lot of people, they just put a dollar there, a dollar, 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 dollar. So that's a spot system. Don't do that. Lay it on full bed, which is the way we do it, this system. You're covering the whole underside on top of your MRT type one. For the shape of the slab. There we are. What slab is it just? Pardon? What slab is it? <laughs> it's trying to catch me out now. We actually, we call this one the big square and so on and so on. And we didn't know what to call that. So we basically call it a... That. That. Yeah. So that one is a that. I know that's technically a small rectangle. But well, we got, we've got a small rectangle as well. So we were mixing ourselves up, didn't we? Yeah, we couldn't call it a big rectangle because we've also got a big rectangle. Yeah, let me just squeeze past you. Sorry, Brad. Bear with us. Right, I'm back. So, put this slurry on now. And this is the same slurry that we've shown you in all other videos. So it's basically a bonding slurry that'll help your Indian sandstone adhere 
to the mortar bed or mortar beast that I've just put down there. So, put loads on. Right, there we go. So that's on. So now, you just put that in there like that. And then what we're doing, which we didn't show you, is on our left hand side, we work to a line to get our level, and then once that line is done, we come off it left to right with a spirit level, level on the bubble. So that's what we're doing now. Just put that on there. Tap that down. I do top, I do top and bottom. Give it a good thump down. And then check. Give that left and drop a nice fall on there that way. And then you are done. Now another key thing for you guys to remember if you're doing Indian sandstone and you're doing it on a random pattern like this. Now these are from Bradstones, aren't they? So what they've shown us on Brad's Bradstone is they gave us a laying pattern, but they gave us a laying pattern so that if we laid another slab there, it would be like that as a joint. So that's a straight joint. So that's crossing. In the in the paving now you know for professionals that's something really you want to avoid in doing your paving so we haven't followed that we followed our own pattern and there's no crossing in that anywhere at all and it won't be when it's finished so yeah I mean it's nice isn't it so there we are I thought I'd show you some another job with us and some Indian Right, so this is the patio. So we've just wet this now, just to make it just a, just a slight haze over the top of it, just so the flow point doesn't actually stick to it. So that's that. And then if we go out here, we've got this very very good looking man, and you are what? You, and you are Brad. Ah, Brad. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. this is this is Brad. A very good looking man that he is. Anyway, we've got the flow point now. So we've put 4.25 litres of uh, water in there. Brad's got the whisk. He's put half in. So come on in, Brad. Let's mix it. Right, so we're just coming to the end now. So there we are, we've mixed that. So that's the consistency you want. 4.25 litres of water, one bag of flow point, and it's a nice warm day, so we've got to get on with it. So we'll show you the next bit now when we're actually going to put it into the joint. So bear with us. Same as usual, you've seen us before, just put this into the joints. Now we have sealed the end of these joints with a bit of sand and cement, just so it doesn't fall out. So just get that. Oh no. I want to 
will say about this is, I bought the wrong squeegee, because these are supposed to be neoprene squeegees, and I bought rubber squeegee, so they're not the best, are they? They do the job. So I will change these to neoprene. If anybody's doing this, I would strongly recommend you get neoprene, but they're doing the job for us for now, until we swap them. Because of that, you want to brush off the top of it with the brush. So what we're going to do, we're not going to get carried away now and mix another bag up and punt all this in one go. I've only got a hat on, it is about what, 12, 13 degrees right now? Ish. And it's warming, isn't it? Yeah. It's warming up to about 16 degrees and it is, I think it's around about half past 10, lads. Yeah, about So I'm not going to be long before we start getting, and the feel is starting to get hot and the clouds are starting to disappear. So you've got to be careful because this is rapid set. So if you're going to be laying this in summer, say 20 degrees, I mean, really, really be careful because this really goes off quick. So we'll leave it like that for a minute now. So where we're at with this now is we put this on with the squeegees seen all the mixing process we've rubbed all that into the joint 45 degree angle now the key thing with this is again i keep saying the weather conditions play a massive part in this as to how fast this sets we did it in the winter and um it um it took ages to set so basically what we're doing with this now is if you just see my see my finger there you lose your finger in that so that means it's not ready yet to power wash so what we'll do we'll let that set now but what you've got to keep on doing, you've got a top tip is, put, keep dancing the pressure washer over this and keep your brush moving over the top of it so that this doesn't set on top of your paving. And then just keep checking it. When that firms up now, when that comes to a point where you're not losing your finger in there and it's firm, then you lightly jet wash it all off. So we'll come back to you when we're at that stage. So see you in a minute. Right, so we've got this point now where Brad's telling me to go lower. Oh, yeah. Brad, any lower? I'll yeah, be down right. lying on the patio. Yeah, um, so, finger. Last time we showed you, it was sinking straight through. Now, that's firm look. You will get a little bit on top that appears to be still wet, but it's not. So that now is firm enough for us to, to jet wash down. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'll pass you over to Brad, and he'll show you the jet washing process. So I'm going to get up now before my uh, leg sees up. So see you in a minute. <laughs> Just do that bit there just to show them. Just, just show them, just start by you, like, and show them that so they can see what you you're doing. Yeah, it's still yeah. recording. <laughs> about that you'd never get a job with the BBC yeah <laughs> would you no I get a job on channel 5 but uh, <laughs> I think they've got a good view of your back there Brad yeah <laughs> 
Sorry about that. Anyway, so we're back down here now. So my finger on there, you can see now, I'm pushing on that now. That is absolutely solid. So you've got to jet wash this at the right time. Don't be impatient. Make sure that this stuff is set, but keep moving your material on top so that it doesn't stick to this. So he's jet washed all this off now. You can see that this has stayed in the joint. It's rock solid. We're a big fan of it. So we'll wash all this off now. We'll complete the whole patio and we'll show you a little bit more at the end. So see you then. Here we are then. So we finished. So all the flow point is in. So if you get a close up on this now, look, Brad. All the flow points in. That is absolutely rock solid. And as you can see, since we first started, like I said, the hat's come off, the jacket's come off, so you've got to be careful doing flow points in the hot weather. So, I mean, we've done it. We use what, four bags on this, Brad? Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> all right, three and a half bags mm. on this. So there we are. It's all done, and there's no cross joints in it. It's all bonded. The customer's happy. We've just done that. We've all the drainage is done and everything. We've cleaned everything up. So there we go. Hope you like it. Any questions? Leave them in the comments below. And um, we're moving on now back down to the landscaping job in Cardiff. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll um, show you some more content from down there. See you there. Cheers. Ta